I want to go straight into the word of God. I want to talk about destroying the spirit of delay. The Lord took me into the spiritual realm. And he has commissioned me to deal with the four specific things. So before the end of his week. Until they are not they are all destroyed my assignment will not be complete but when they are destroyed my assignment will be complete any power of the enemy that has been causing your delay today in the name of Jesus any form of delay family delay Marriage delay, financial delay, environmental delay, destiny delay, die by fire, die by fire, live and say fire, say fire, any delay in my mother's house. No more delay. John chapter number 20. Yohana Ishirini. Verses 1 to 3. No more delay. Delay is not a gift of the Holy Spirit. We mistake delay from waiting on God. Delay is a strategy of wastage. And people waste years. Because the spirit of delay is holding them. The Bible says verse number one. The first day of the week. Cometh Mary Magdalene early in the morning. When it was still dark. She came to the grave and the See, she saw the stone had been taken away from the grave. Verse number two is my interest. Then she ran and she came to Simon Peter. And to the other disciple. Whom we are not told the name. But we are told Jesus loved him. And he said to them. They have taken away the Lord out of the grave. We know not where they have taken him. Peter therefore went forth. And the other disciple came to the grave. So they both ran together. Oh my God. And the other disciple outran Peter. Life is a race. Peter was running. Petro going to the grave. And this other disciple Na huyu mwengine, was also running. Pia and the Bible says Na inasema, he outran Peter. Aka mbio he Petro. went ahead of Peter. Aka Petro. And that's life. Na hiyo ni maisha. Tell your neighbor that's life. Yako, hayo ndiyo there maisha. are people who will go ahead of you. Kuna watu there are people who will overtake you. Kuna watu that's not my concern. Hiyo siyo shida yangu. My concern is the next step. Sh shida yangu ni hatu the Bible says. Inasema, verse number five. Watano, and he stopped down. He stopped down. Akainama, 
And he saw the linen clothes lying, yet he did not go in. Akaona vitambia vasanda vimelala lakini hakuingia. When he was running. Alipokuwa nakimbia. He was not afraid. Hakuwa naogopa. There was no delay. Hakukuwa na kukawia. He knew. Alijua. It was his season. Ni majira yake. To access another level. Wa kuafikia upeo mwingine. But he ran. Lakini akakimbia. And in the process. Na katika harakati. My Bible tells me. Bibilia inaniambia. He stopped down. Akasimama, akainama. No say what I'm saying. Forget about the Kiswahili Bible. He stopped down. Akasimama. He looked into the grave. kaburi. He saw the linen clothes. Akaona mavazi. But. Vita. But. Lakini. He did not go in. Hakuingia ndani. God caught up. Akashikiliwa. He doesn't even know. Hata hajui. What caused the delay? Nini kinasababisha kukawia? He got delayed. Akakawishwa. He did not go in. Hakuenda ndani. In his mind. Katika akili yake. He knew he was going in. Alijua anaenda ndani. Do you know? Je, unajua? God never took the children of Israel. Mungu hakuwatoa wana wa Israeli. From Egypt. Kutoka Misri. To kill them. Kuwaua. In the desert. Katika jangwa. He wanted them. Aliwataka. To go into the promised land. Akaingia katika ile ile. My Bible tells me. You told on me chapter 6. Kumbe kumbe la Torah. Verse 23. He brought them out that he may bring them in. But somewhere along the way they got stuck 40 years. I have come to announce you are not where God wanted you to be. I say you are not where Jehovah wanted you to be. I don't care the number of years the Lord has sent me as a voice from Nakuru to tell you Mombasa you are supposed to go in you are supposed to go in tell your neighbor go in something happened kitu kikatendeka he stopped akasimama stopped dreaming akakoma kuota stopped praying ukakoma kuomba he stopped being ambitious akaacha kuwa na shauku he stopped pursuing akaacha kufuatilia initially was running mbeleni alikuwa anakimbia but he go somewhere lakini akafika mahali He stopped. Akakwama. He looked in. Akaangalia ndani. He saw. Akaona. The linen clothes. Vile vitambaa vya upe. The Bible says. Lakini Biblia inasema. He did not go in. Hakuingia ndani. Spirit of delay. Roho wa kukawia. He got stuck there. Akakwama pale. He got stuck there. Akakwama pale. The other disciple. Wale mitume wengine. Came in fast. Wakaja mbio. He came in last. Wao walikuja He overtook him. Akawapita. He went inside. Akaingia ndani. But this guy? Na huyu mtu. Was still standing. Bado alikuwa anasimama. I announced to any power. Nakutangazia. That has been hindering. Ambayo imekuwa inazuia. You are getting in. Kuingia kwako ndani. Any spirit. Roho hiyo yote. That has been stopping. Ambayo imekuwa inazuia. The revival. Uvuvio. Of your life. Wa maisha yako. The new level. Kiwango kipya. Of your family. Cha jamii yako. The new glory. Utukufu. Of your business. Wa biashara yako. I declare as a man of God. This year. Mwaka huu. Of abundance. May you go in. May you go in. May you go in. May you go in. In what God says, my Father, my Maker. To say, my Baba, 
Say, so my Father, my Creator, and Spirit, of delay over my life. This is my season. Spirit of delay. Financial delay. Spiritual delay. Physical delay. Delay in my dreams. Any form of delay. Cut fire. Cut fire. Cut fire. Cut fire. Cut fire. Remember, Kumbuka. God. Mungu. He took Israel. Ali watoa Israeli. Come here. That's Egypt. Hapo ni Misri. That must be Israel. Pale lazima iwe ni Israeli. Because I remember I was standing here. Kwa sababu na kumbuka ni likuani mesima mahali. Ten years ago. Miaka kumi iliopita. And I said. Nani kasema? From here. Kutoka hapa. You people. Nye watu. God is going to send me to Nakuru. Mungu atani tu Nakuru. I had no idea. Sikuwa ni najua. But I said. Lakini ni kasema. God is going to send me to Nakuru. Mungu atani tu Nakuru. Some of you. Wengine wenu. Who are getting used to the servants of God. Amba wana zoya watumishi wa Mungu. You will miss me. I never knew. Sikujua. What I was saying was prophetic. Kile nilikuwa na sema ni chakina bi. Three years ago, I stood here again. And I said, you people, God has sent me again to tell you as a prophetic voice, he's returning the port of Mombasa. Never knew how it will happen. But God has seen it. And this morning, the Lord told me to tell you again, you are being delayed. But it is your season. To come out of the land. To come out of the land. Say with me, Father. Deliver me from the spirit of the land. So I stand here to affirm what the Lord sent. I will tell you. Three things, but today I tell you one. In the spiritual realm, there is going to be a revolution. In this city, listen, listen before you celebrate. There is going to be a revolution. So if the true servants of God, you will not stand and the fight na upigani. then the spirit of deception Basi roho ya will cover the city Itafunika. but I pray as a servant of God I say I pray as a servant of God there shall be no deception that shall prevail that shall prevail in this city our fathers have paid the price we cannot afford to be lax to to relax we must fight someone say I will fight Israel Israel you coming out wana toka wana jishika hivi kaka kama mtu kama wana toka ngalia uko Devi tunaenda sasa so we go He's going to Canaan. He's going to Canaan. He gets somewhere. He's called Hebron. Hebron. He's, in, he's in a location. It is not very bad. But it is not very good. And in this place, the Bible says there was a mountain called Mount Sia. He began to go round. He began to go round. Morning to evening. He is in Mount Sia. He feels he's not very bad. As a matter of fact, he has something. 
Ako na kitu. To hold on. Kushikilia. He has a mountain. Ako na mlimu. To step on. Wakukanyaga. He has is more elevated. Badu ameinuliwa. Than others. Kuliko wengine. When he looks to the right. Akiangalia to the left. Ya kushoto. He sees. Anaona. Good land. Inchi but he's not willing. Lakini hataki. To pay the price. Kulipa garama. To go to that land. Kuingia kwa ili. I am here to announce to you. Niko hapa kukutu. Mungu. Did not bring you. Haku kuleta. To die. Kuja. In Mount Seir. Pale mlima Seir. God. Mungu. Did not bring you so that you can abide in the location you must continue you must continue you must continue you are being in that mountain long enough Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 3 akambiwa umekuwa hapa muda mrefu angalia mtu mwambie umekuwa hapa muda mrefu umekuwa hapa muda mrefu one location mahali pamoja it is not bad sio pabaya but it is not your place lakini sio mahali pako did you hear what i say unasikia kile ninasema it is not bad sio mbaya that house hiyo nyumba that house hiyo nyumba that house hiyo nyumba is not bad si mbaya but it is not your place lakini sio mahali pako i said that position nasema hiyo nafasi is not bad sio mbaya but it is not your place lakini sio nafasi that career is not bad but it is not your place lakini si mahali pako that condition hiyo hali is not too bad si mbaya but it is not lakini your jirani yako mwambie si utoke. Ah, you talk. Talk. Shida tulio nayo. Eh? Pastor Jack. Shida tuko nayo. Ni watu kufika kabla hawajafika. Wanafika kabla hawajafika. May God deliver you from the spirit of delay. Kutoka kwa roho ya kukawia. He got stuck in Mount Sia. Akakuwa mamlima Sia. Don't miss tomorrow I continue. Five signs of person who is delayed. Ishara tano za mtu aliyekawishwa. Number 1. Ya kwanza. When you are delayed in life. Unapokawishwa maishani. You have got spiritual encounters uko na kabiliano za kiroho where you see yourself pale ambapo utajiona in a classroom katika darasa unaomba lakini ukienda kufumzika visions and dreams you are in a class uko darasani ndoto na maono if you are not in a class kama hauko darasani you are in the village u, in your mother's house uko kijijini kwa nyumba ya mama yako you are walking around the village where you grew up unazunguka kijijini pale ulipokulia your old friends begin to service marafiki zako if i be a man of god ikiwa mimi ni mtu of all my arm i came to set you free and in power and in power of delay say my father my creator deliver me from the spirits of delay in the name of jina la yesu Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost. Mtu omba kwa roho. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Omba kwa roho. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Omba kwa roho. Nerere bo sata. Nerere bo sata. My God. Mungu wangu. Listen. Nisikize. Ulitoka likoni kitambo. Lakini unajiona wewe ndio huyo kwa feri. Uliama mishomoroni kitambo kisa uni ulito, ulitoka migandini paka unaona yule mama alikuwa jirani may god deliver you from every spirit of delay i say may god deliver your family from every spirit of delay some say father set me free from spiritual stagnation tuko kwa era 
ya Rigiji na Ruto. Lakini wewe unajiona ukisalimiana. Bado uko kwa handshake. Umekwama hapo paka ukienda kulala. Shira baba baba fungua sava fungua sava. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. The spirit of delay is haunting you. But I speak as a prophet. Mombasa. I say Mombasa. The spirit of delay will not attack you. I break the spirit of delay. In the name of hata wakimaliza ramadhani tunakataa maandamano Mombasa tunakataa hakuna kucheleweshwa biashara hakuna kucheleweshwa tunakataa delay some say no more delay sema hakuna kukawishwa tena number 2 ya pili when you are under the spirit of delay unapokuwa chini ya roho ya kukawishwa people who were behind you watu ambao walikuwa nyuma yako go ahead of you wanakutangulia somebody you knew was in form 1 mtu ambaye ulijua akiwa kidato cha kwanza when you were in form 4 na wewe ulikuwa kidato cha 4 when you were in class 8 they were in standard 3 ukiwa darasa la 8 alikuwa darasa la 3 they meet with you wanakutana na wewe your younger sisters dada zako wadogo your younger cousins Ma, uh, your younger wadogo. brothers mandugu zako wadogo and they are now your role model na sasa wao ndio ambao if i be a man of god i say if i be a man of god and if i be a servant of god and the spirit of delay shall not consume you say father say father i refuse to be overtaken in the name of anda kuomba usingizi kwa ndugu zako wadogo Naanza kuwakopa pesa Watu wale ambao unatakikana we ndio unawasaidia ndio unakimbizana na wao Watoto waliokuwa wadogo ukiwafundisha kuongea ndio wanaanza kukuita Ndio simamia harusi yangu na wewe una harusi na una ndoa na kuanga tu na Yesu leo hii utakuwa na Yesu na ndoa nasema leo hii utakuwa na Yesu na ndoa inua mkono sema father say father enough is enough i cause brutality in the kingdom of satan come on say i cause brutality in the kingdom of satan no more delay hakuna tena kukawishwa Weka mikono mbele pray in tongue pray in tongue for a minute kata 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 take it take it take it kata 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 makata kata kata hete tete 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 hete tete 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 hakata kata 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 yo karaba kasete kete koraba karaba kasete hinda bakasete ke ba de busa hinda raba sete ke baba baba Enda karaba babosa Enda kasata ya dabosa Eta kata kata ba Wewe ndiwe Mungu ubadiliki 